In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up an external fault function on the ATV212 drive. Now, external fault is basically like a permissive or a fault function where if the corresponding logic is not made, it will go ahead and fault out on this particular fault. It shows it up, it shows it up as actually an E status on the main display when you have an external fault condition. Um, now, just be, having said that, E can happen for a number of reasons on the main display. Like for example, if I press stop while the driver is getting a command from terminals, it will go to an E status as well. So make sure that you don't uh, get confused about that E status. But in regardless, for our purposes here, we're going to program a logic to the external fault to be used as a permissive, uh, so on and so forth. So to do that, let's go and assume that you have your terminal R is going to be your external fault. So from the main menu AUF, you want to arrow down to F dash dash dash, enter. F1 12 is your R terminal. And the external fault assignment is 11. So let's go to 11 here. Enter. Now the next parameter is parameter F. It's going to be under the F codes again. But this time it's going to be F603. This is basically the response in the event that you have an external fault. Do you want it to ramp to stop? Do you want a freewheel? Do you want a DC brake? Whatever have you. The default is freewheeling. So if the, if the drive is faulting out on external fault, it will go to a freewheel, which might be fine for what you're trying to do. But if you want to ramp at a certain time frame, then you have to come in here. So having said that, you enter on F6, um, excuse me, 603. And again, default is zero meaning freewheel. One is ramp stop. And of course, uh, two is DC braking. Let's go to make it freewheel stop for our purposes here. And that's basically it. So right now you program your drive. Now it's got an E status again. I'm gonna go and power this drive down. And let it go blank and then power it back up again. All right, so we powered back up and it says 0.0, .0. and again the reason why I'm saying 0, 0.0 is because R needs to get to 24 terminal DC terminal on its own terminal R to get that E external fault so if it's made it's gonna give you a fault if it's not made it's happy it's showing you that it's ready to go and you can go ahead and uh, continue programming or conditioning your drive and that's basically how you program an external fault function on an ATV212 drive